What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and another daily vlog. This is super weird. I'm starting the vlog at the end of the day, but I've got a little announcement to make. There is another video going live on Supercars of London in a couple of hours. I teamed up with Oakley from Oaklefish and also Microsoft Surface UK to put together a Q&A discussing exam results, careers and YouTube and how I found myself in this position. So make sure that you go and check that out. Let's get this vlog underway. I hope you enjoy it guys. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London and I am in a good mood. I have been so productive today but actually nothing to do with Supercars of London. I woke up at 8 o'clock this morning to get prepared, get editing my vlog from yesterday whilst I was in London so that I could head down, meet up with my business partner in Eastleigh so that we could just discuss a whole range of stuff to do with the company moving forward but also the SOL clothing. However, he's ill today. So, I decided to spend the morning cleaning my bedroom. And that is not at all content for the vlog. So I was dusting, I was tidying, I was putting clothes in the washing. I mean, that is a serious, I'm a good house, uh, it's not housewife. I was good around the house, basically. I've taken a wrong turn, but look at this in the middle of the road. This is a national speed limit road, and they've just left that in the middle of the road. Here we go, we are arriving at the Mini and BMW place. I wonder whether, I'm not getting the Mini from here. Is that that really, really fast and loud one? Yeah, it is the Challenge 210. Cracks and bangs and pops and everything. Right, let's just park in this car park and pop in, give back this card. This. We're on dealership visits today. I thought that I'd swing by Watford Audi. I haven't been in here in ages. They've got a few cars to kick out before the 1st of September, or even for the 1st of September. But I'm just gonna go in and see what's what. A standard R8 V8 with white side blades. Mm, that's odd. And immediately, the guy that I normally see has just driven off on a test drive, so I'm gonna scrap this. I'm not gonna go in. I don't want to waste someone else's time. It's a nice colour S3. Good to see an R8 again. So on Instagram, there's been a, po a picture posted of a baby blue Porsche 918 Spyder at DK Engineering, which really isn't too far away from where I live. Stefan, who was in the vlog yesterday and in the vlog the day before, I think, is going there now to just sort of suss it out he knows the guys down there, so he's going to ask what's going on, whether, whether the car's leaving. And then that gives me about 10, 15 minutes to drive over there. And hopefully, I might be able to catch a Porsche 918, a blue one, driving on the road. And if that's the case, and I've never seen a baby blue one before, but they look amazing. So fingers crossed we can get this on camera. What's up guys, I haven't vlogged much this afternoon. The time's half past two. So I think I've done quite a lot of content actually, until, up until now, it depends how I edit it. Regardless, I've slightly changed clothes. I'm now ready for London. However, I'm going for a quick afternoon meet after I have sent a couple of emails. So I've basically spent the last 45 minutes to an hour just trying to get through as many emails as possible. Whilst I'm in London, it's just difficult to get anywhere near replying, spending time concentrating on uh, emails. So I had emails backed up from end of July to try and get through. Anyway, I have done that now and I've got one more email to do, but I'm going to do it in the car park of this place that I'm going to now. I've actually vlogged here before. The last time that I went here, I came with my girlfriend in the Audi R8 V10 Spider that I had from Audi just before it went back. I think it was the same day before it went back as well. So it was a bit of a farewell food and drink, but I'm just going to quickly come up here um, and hopefully this meeting will last maybe an hour and then I can just get on my way into London. The good thing is this meeting is not far from DK Engineering and Stefan is on his way up, which means uh, I'll have some, some eyes at DK Engineering. Hopefully Stefan can let me know if this Porsche 918 is leaving. I have been having a very, is lazy the right word? I don't feel I am 
100% with the energy. And I did predict that yesterday when I had that late night trying to get back from London. So I've just been lying about really on my bed. I had a really productive morning when I was at my most awake and now I'm heading into London and I don't feel that awake and that's probably because I've been doing nothing all afternoon. I've been out and about but the majority of the, my time has been spent on my bed doing emails so you know you get that sort of lethargic nah, being on my, in my bed all day and they're like oh I can't really be bothered to get up and then you look you talk yourself into being tired even though you've done nothing all day, so you should have all of the energy in the world. So I'm hoping that I can wake up on this journey into London and see some really cool cars. My eyes on the street today, obviously Stefan being one of them down at DK Engineering, the Porsche 918 was gone by the time that he arrived. I've also got Sam back in London now, telling me what's in London, that's probably him now. He um, arrived back, I think this morning from his holiday in Bali where um, he didn't do too much, I don't think, apart from sweated a lot because it was uh, very hot out there. So I'm going to be meeting up with him. He's telling me that there's lots of cars about, including an Alfa Romeo 4C with gold wheels, which everyone has been so thankful that it hasn't been seen for the last three weeks and been given a break from that car. So it's going to be it's going to be good seeing him again, and we're going to probably just wander the streets, me, Demi, Sam, and whoever else wants to join us tonight and we'll see what's going on in London. Harrods is looking like it's gonna be busy. The only thing that I will say that's gonna be disappointing is the guy currently in London with the LaFerrari 918 and Veyron, he drove the LaFerrari on Monday, he drove the 918 yesterday, which means the Veyron's next, and to be honest, it's not as exciting as the other two cars, so we'll see how that goes, but let's just head into London, and I'll try and wake myself up a little bit. We've arrived, we've been cruising, but it's wet, but we found a new SV with a matte black roof. So I'm gonna park up using the camera to park up. Bus. Demi sets off my parking sensors and I'm gonna get some pictures. It's with a black series and an A45. Look at the floor. It's completely soaked. London has been raining all evening. And there's a few cars parked up. We've got the Aventador here. R8 over there. Another Aventador parked up. There. Dreadful filming. And now we're gonna go to Harrods and see if there's anything else. So London has turned into an absolute rain fest. I wasn't expecting it to rain and I didn't look at the BBC weather, which probably 
was my fault as to why I'm completely drenched. But anyway, London wasn't too bad today. I was quite happy with some of the content that I got and some of the cars that we were able to see. And um, this is just a quick reminder, like the beginning of this vlog, in two hours time, Supercars of London will have another video, double upload day, as me and Oakley from Oaklefish discuss careers, YouTube, and try and answer as many questions as possible because there's a lot of questions circulating about how do you get into this, what's the best way and advice. So hopefully we can answer all of your questions. Thank you to everyone who submitted your question. And that is the end of today's vlog. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoyed making it up until the point I started to get completely soaked, but that's just part of the fun in London. It's a lot of fun when it rains and it's just a different atmosphere completely. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in a couple of hours for the Q&A video that's gonna be going live very, very soon. So thanks for watching, guys. And yeah, see you in a couple of hours. And then again tomorrow, woohoo.